As the election approaches this year, Arizona Secretary of State is using AI and deep fakes to test election officials. And some of them fell into this trap. And Steve Nielsen is live now with a story. Steve, this is uh, pretty scary. It is. These deep fakes, you know, they can be really impressive. There's free versions online where you put in real videos of somebody or the audio of someone. And then the computer can use AI to make that person say anything they want. Secretary of State sat down with me today and said that's exactly what they did when they asked election officials for compromising information in this training exercise. Election officials from 15 counties gathered together for an exercise in December. Only a few knew three deep fakes were coming. One was of Secretary of State Adrian Fontes himself. Another, a deep faked audio voicemail of a behind the scenes security official from the state. It said basically, hey, this is so and so, and it sounded exactly like that person. Uh, we're, we've, we've got a little bit of a glitch in our system. Uh, we need to get your uh, login and password for this particular sector of the system so that we can double check some stuff. Give me a call back. Uh, give me a call back at this number and we'll get that right away. We'll get it plugged in. We're calling everybody. Right. And so if you weren't paying attention, you might say, oh, my gosh, they need help over there. And this is somebody whose voice I know. I'm going to call and give that information. That could be problematic. So I mean, if that happens and that information is given up, are we talking about uh, something that could lead to changes in votes, changes in ballots, or are we talking more just about uh, the public not having the right information? Well, if you were really scared, you might say, hey, that's a real problem. The hook is we have a lot of redundancies in our systems, and we operate through a whole bunch of backups as we move through. And we also do uh, double checking. So if somebody came in and said, hey, the, you know, Pinal County's numbers are this way instead of that way, we're going to call and double check. We're going to, you know, email and triple check. We're going to do the things that are necessary. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, in Arizona, it takes a little time to get results because we've always been very careful. This is really interesting. So what can you do at home to be prepared on Election Day? Fontes says just make sure you know the source of your information. Don't fall for untrustworthy sources. Obviously, you know, this isn't the first time that we have seen uh, wow. these deep fakes. It's not the first time we've seen AI take over and do these things. We've seen people fall for it, give a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. The stakes here, though, are huge. This isn't about someone's personal savings account, which is obviously huge for that individual. Right. We're talking about elections here. Yeah. they got to be prepared for this. It's a big deal. I mean, is there anything that he mentioned, like, what can you do to really separate the two? What's a fake versus what's real? I mean, how do you really separate them? They're so convincing. I mean, they say it's always just about... Uh, if someone reaches out to you, calling that person back, having that conversation with them, the way they handled it this time, that fake audio call they got, they left a voicemail. And then that person would call back mm -hmm. and leave a voicemail mm -hmm. with that information instead of having that direct conversation. Okay. Well, now that this is out there, Steve, people who are working elections, they're going to probably be second guessing everything uh, yeah, when it comes to yeah. people. I think that's good, them. though. Oh, right? it's great, but yeah. those, those results now may take a little bit longer even to get out on after the elections. And obviously, you know, Arizona has been criticized yeah. for how long right. it takes. Election officials say it's actually a good thing that right. it takes so long. Yeah. Wow. And it is really Take good to time. know that this is a possibility, you know, beforehand. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. it's serious. All right, Steve, thanks a lot.